What's up, GITV? This is Frank, and today we have a special guest. Now, as you guys all know, we were at SHOT Show last, uh, last week, and we saw a whole bunch of new cool, cool product. Um, so this is, I don't know his name. I'm nobody. I completely forgot. <laughs> no, I'm kidding. This is Wallace Z Shot. So he's here to show us um, what he's got here. Okay, good, good. Well, first of all, you guys have seen this. This is the Odin Innovations M12 Psi 1 Winder Speed Loader. It's the fastest speed loader on the market. Uh, SFGI's got these in stock now. They work very simple. You open trap door, you dump BBs in it, put the cranks out, and get any of your M4 magazine, click it in, and just crank, okay? Every rotation is 12 BBs, so about 10 you know, rotations or so, I will fill a complete mid-cap. Fastest speed loader on the market. Now, we came out of this around Christmas, and we couldn't keep these in stock, neither can GI, right? Um, but the number one question we've asked is, you know, now that I got a speed loader that will load all your M4 Macs, what happened to all the AKs and all my other magazines? What's gonna happen? Am I gonna have to wait two, three, four years for a second version to come out or adapters and stuff? So to answer that, we've got some... It's got an answer already. Answer for you. So, these are 3D printed adapters, okay? Very easy to use. You take these adapter, you click them into the, into the magazine, and you can take, this is for G36, so there you go. You load it just like an M4. Now, a lot of people will ask is, well, that's nice you have a prototype, right? Well, how many months, how many years you're gonna cut the mold, have them done and, and on the market? So what we decided to do, we are going to do the first open source S, uh, airsoft project. Mm -hmm. So so these are all 3D printed files. We've got the CAD files and all that stuff. Mm -hmm. We're gonna upload those files online, okay? And any one of you can download it. You can make tweaks to it, you can change it. If you guys are engineering students or, or have backgrounds, and you can make changes and make them better, make them better. And you can print these at home. Okay. So, so, so basically, we have to find friends with 3D printers to make these adapters. Oh, by own. Or, or by our <laughs> own 3D printer, which is a great idea. I actually have a couple of friends that have them, so. Exactly. So you, it's, it's hard to find someone that doesn't have a 3D <laughs> printer in the circle anymore. Right? Uh, some of you guys are still in school. A lot of schools now, school labs got 3D printer. You can print it. Mm -hmm. Okay, so this way, you don't have to pay for the adapter. You buy this, there's no extra cost. You can print it right now. So, what about the little springs and the pins I see here? Ah, good question. Most of those can be found on hardware stores, and we will post links to the Mastercard and some of the, the favorite places we can get them online, mm. so you can get the exact model of the springs and pins to, okay. to build it. Okay. Uh, down the road, I think probably in a month or two, we'll do a little package together. We'll mm. have the nozzle springs and stuff put together, maybe like five bucks mm. as, a, as a 3D printing kit. Okay. So you can print a bunch okay. of these and you have enough parts to do it. So, so it's very going to be very economical, and okay. you, you're not going to have to buy, you know, another speed loader for a different magazine. Uh -huh. You can just use the same Odin and load all your mags. Oh, okay, all right, cool. And then for those of you who are uh, mechanically inclined, like myself, we probably wouldn't need a list of part numbers. We can probably figure you can figure it out. it out. You can figure it out. Put some pins and springs together. Yep. All right, cool. Cool. Go to you know GITV, check the Facebook for update, mm -hmm. and get yourself one of those old day speed loaders. Yeah, and as soon as he has the information to us, what we're going to do is we're going to actually post the links inside the product description. So once you buy the product, you'll have everything you need, to, you, you need, and including the size of the springs, potentially, and the pins and stuff to put the, um, the adapters together. There you so go. So they're on site on our website, www.airsoftgi.com for $59.99. Well, time to go. Time to go. See ya. See you guys. All right, so the first thing you guys may have noticed is that this gun looks similarly to the FN SCAR. That's because the real firearm version, the ISSC Mark 22, was inspired by the FN SCAR. The Classic Army ISSC Mark 22 contains... All right, so this is my primary gun. It's based on an HK416 platform, and this is actually an older model. It's actually 2011, so it's seen quite a few upgrades to bring it back to the 2016 version under the hood that it is now, including the addition of a MOSFET that I threw in there to kind of up the trigger response.